impacted by it? Um, well, I, I don't know where that listener was from, but I think she said the East Coast. But no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe there's a problem with East Coast uh, fishing. Uh, we, you know, we've seen particles of radiation in people's gardens. Uh, uh, Marco Kaltofen, the, the, the guy who does uh, all the analysts, analysis for us, actually dug up his garden and found um, you know, cesium it, clearly from Fukushima, and he lives in Boston. But it's low level and it's spread out up and down the coast. And I, I guess you know we're all in this together. We can't run and we can't hide. That doesn't hold <coughs> up the, pal the, the Cascades. I think if you're on the West Coast in the Cascades, you need to demand more of your, you know, Oregon and, and Washington State and California, of your local officials or of the federal government to, to look into uh, what's in the fish. Uh, not just the saltwater fish from the salt that's coming over through the ocean, but also what's what's rained out on the land and is now, you know, in the in the local river. So you I, know, I guess I had two answers. It it isn't just the fish. One of the first reports we saw back in late April uh, was from UC Davis scientists, and they were talking about uh, picking up particulate radiation particulate levels in the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. And that's yeah. the drinking water reservoir for San Francisco. So to say that our drinking water is exposed to radiation levels that were unsafe, and then they said, well, you know what? In disasters, we're going to have a little higher level of unsafe. So yeah. the, the EPA's answer was, let's move the number up so it doesn't look so bad. But I mean, holy crow, is that the best we can do to protect ourselves? Uh, no, it's not. You know, we also saw the, the hot particles in Seattle back in uh, back in April, and you know, finally, I've been exonerated because I, we took a lot of flack on that. But um, you know, uh, Marco Kaltofen's paper to the American Public Health Association actually talks about his monitoring equipment in Seattle did pick up the hot particles. So um, it was um, a wave of. Significant radiation hit the West Coast and sort of settled in on the Cascades. Um, we are down to like three minutes, and I just wanted to share this with our, our viewers. We promised we, uh, we would hand out our, our special Thanksgiving Turkey Award. This goes every year to our eco-disaster people, and uh, I think it's fair to say TEPCO has stepped right up to claim this trophy piece, and I'd be happy to hand deliver to any company representative that wants to come over somewhere where the radiation isn't probably so bad. So it's a good opportunity for them to get away. I want to ask if there's any quick uh, parting thought that you have, and thank you so much. You and Maggie and Fairwinds Associates are just awesome. I really respect your work, and thank you so much for being on. Well, thank you. Parting thoughts is, uh, well, first, thank, thank you for having me, and thanks for the, all the people that have watched the Fairwinds site. I really that's been heartening. We don't take any any salaries out of this, but it's been heartening to get the email, so thank you. Parting thought is uh, we need to be vigilant, and uh, I would not trust uh, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to take that role away from us. Excellent. Dan, how about you? Well, I just want to say that, and I just want to do a quick advertisement. We're, we have the preliminary results of a long-term study of our programs. We're looking at kids in high school who've been through our program in elementary school, finding that they are retaining a sophisticated understanding of how individual behavior impacts the ocean as well as uh, societal behavior impacts the ocean. And we've been talking about both those things today. So I think, again, it's important to us that we stay on top of these crises and these issues, but also to educate the kids so that we have stewardship in the future so we don't have these kinds of problems. Boy, that's so important. I'm Dan Hayfley from uh, O'Neill Sea Odyssey, Arnie and Maggie Goodnerson uh, with um, Fairwinds Associates. Heroes to me and, uh, uh, you know, continue your good work. We need those voices in the darkness. And tell your friends. You can watch this Tuesday, Thursday night, 6 and 10 p.m. You can see it on the internet. This is important. Please pass it on. Don't let this info die. And we'll catch you on our next live show. I got a tiny piece of ground and I call it my own. Call it my own. Call it
in my own I got a tiny piece of ground And I call it my own It's a home for the big old redwood tree You know the loggers may not like it But I call it my own Call it my own 